Hello. Different to other fruits, most edible bananas do not produce seeds. They are propagated vegetatively. What does it mean? That means their production of bananas depends on the capacity of the banana to produce shoots that are called suckers. Bananas can be also be propagated through complex tissue culture techniques, which will generate hundreds and hundreds of plants identical to the initial plant. Normally, these plants produce seedless fruits that we can easily eat and that will make us happy, right? Only wild species of bananas and under certain circumstances some cultivars are able to produce seeds and they look like this one. In general terms, this is obtained thanks to sexual reproduction, which includes pollination. But where is the pollen? Well, bananas have also flowers. These flowers are known as inflorescences because they include a group of independent flowers, female flowers and male flowers in different locations. The female flowers are pistillated and will eventually become the fruits. The male flowers, which are here, look a little bit different and they don't become the fruits, but they are very important because they contain a lot of pollen that we can use. Most bananas are stellar, but some are still fertile, especially the wild types, the ones that you can find in the jungle. The male flowers have anthers full of pollen. You can see it here. Can you see it? What about now? Let's go a little bit closer. And now? Yes, here we go. Pollen is necessary to fertilize an egg inside an ovule. In nature, pollinators such as insects, birds, and even bats do it for us. But if you really want seeds, you have to do it yourself with your own hands. And even like that is very difficult. So what do you need? Well, the most important is to find and to wait for the right moment. This is difficult since in many cases there is no synchronization between male flowers and female flowers. But let's assume that everything is perfect. We have the perfect environmental conditions and receptive female flowers and male flowers full of pollen. The idea is to take male flowers from the bottom, open the bracts, these red layers, and take individual of a bunch of flowers. Then we are going to transfer the pollen to the stigma of the female flowers, carefully. Between 1,000 and 4,000 grains of pollen are needed for a successful pollination. After a couple of months, we will have fruits that are developing seeds as long as the pollination was successful. Otherwise, we will have seedless fruits obtained through a phenomenon called parthenogenesis. I'm going to talk about that in another video. The seeds looks like this, and obviously the number of seeds will depend on the variety, the size and number of fruits. The seeds certainly can germinate and produce a new banana plant, as you can see here. Seed production is not necessary. Who eats a banana full of seeds? Seed production is currently carried out for genetic improvement purposes in breeding programs like the one we carry out here in the Netherlands. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Bye bye.